All right, folks, the deck is a big warrior. The goal of the deck is to cheat out our large minions with either Cowardly Grunt or Gather Your Party so that we can get them from our deck directly into play and start bashing our opponent in the face with them. If we happen to draw all of our minions or can't find those cheat effects, we've also got from the depths so that we can pull them from the bottom of our deck, reduce their cost, and get them into play a little bit easier. Or Flash of the Colossals so that we can add some big minions into our hand and our opponent's hand. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Rawful. Watch this! Come, embrace the chaos. None of these look terribly high rolly to me, so. Is Big Priest just back now? Is that what's going on? We've queued into so many of them. <laughs> it's just like, it's not a good deck, but it's a better version of my deck. And probably a better version of Big Shaman as well. But, or better into the Big Shaman matchup if it can high roll correctly. Please don't hit the... Okay, cool. We're in business. Grunt. Could still be Reno Priest. Reno Priest would be less likely to run Im Illuminate. That doesn't have the same density of spells as uh, Big Priest does. Please, go pick on someone your own size. Enter in any wild tournaments. Uh, I used to, but there aren't many wild tournaments, and I don't really enjoy playing competitively anymore. Leave me alone. I don't want to leave myself too open to silence, is why I'm not developing both of those, because Shard would uh, be super, super bad for me. Those are the kind of hits I need. I need to, I need this game to end quickly. Can't really goof around with too much because they're gonna start. Uh, the longer it goes, the more they out pressure. Keep the revoke for one of these two. This combo can deal with a mass res. Okay, that's a little bit better for pressure. But, like, I run out of resources, the opponent doesn't, so if we're just going threat for threat, we lose the game. You gonna cry? Fifty fifty, no matter what. Might as well just get it out of the way. Free of that blasted tower. Behold. Cry, baby. Man. Leave me alone. Okay, we lose whatever gets pulled here. Okay. 
Things are getting a little crowded here. How many things die here? Three, four, maybe? Get this. Oh my! Oh, not those two. I really needed one of those bloods to stick if I want to have a chance in this game. Alright. Keep piling on the pressure, I guess. Troublemaker is, well, not the OG because Dr. Boom was the OG Colossal Minion, but Troublemaker, it turns out, is a Colossal Minion as well. Minion. the slight armor lead going into the that's not good order we must learn from our mistakes my palm is purple Maybe they overextend so we can Ozuma provoke. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to set up, but it's not likely to happen. Not really red. My palm is purple. Not really red. One third of my deck is bloods. Once we draw one blood, we set off a massive chain. There's no way I can hold enough cards to overdraw them either. I will not be denied. Bloods are half of our deck, they're a third of the opponents. Okay, well, that's lucky for me. What? 
Wow, that was really lucky. Drawn the bloods? Oh. Yeah, now it's my turn. Last little bit of opium. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay. Good news is we're not. Oh my god. Uh, I need Azamat. Is that even gonna be enough? Neptulon isn't. Jigafin. Now, did I? Truly a I am not always perfect. But oh my god, they keep drawing him. Okay. Maybe a brawl off the top can get me there. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. How many bloods do they have? I've got 11 out of 13. There's no world in which I play the shield block, right? I've got 7. 16, is that right? Must burn them all. Let's draw the bloods. Six more. Six more. Oh! So close. Hmm. Your tenacity is admirable. This Wait, what? Oh. Dodge it! Dodge it! Oh! Almost got there, chat. Oh god, not the shamans again. I think this game hinges pretty heavily on who gets the most or the second uh, Neptulon, which is generally in the opponent's favor because they can better copy or create copies of uh, Neptulon. Oh, turn one high roll incoming. Oh, that's a lot less concerning than some of the alternatives. To behold. You're in my school now. I will not be You gonna cry? 
Bonk. Bonk. Okay. Going threat for threat here is better than in the big priest matchup. But still not a strategy for winning. Probably just have to take this. Which big deck do you think is the best between Warrior and Shaman? Uh, it's no question. It's Shaman. It's arguably the best deck in the format right now. Like, it's not even close. My deck is bad. The opponent's deck is good. More protection for that inevitable uh, second copy of Ancestry's Call, right? But this isn't the hand that we need right now. Okay, that means they're going in this turn. Little time. So. It's nice, I guess. Glory to the Lord. Provoke, also not bad. Uh, theoretically, I can clear a Neptulon if they hit one here. Oh, let's just go ahead and trade this now. I will not be denied. Okay. Uh, Neptulon is not great from hand. It's too slow. My time has come. You give everything I've got. It's gonna be a little tough. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Do something okay. Um, they've got three cards in hand. We've got a brawl. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Even with the Brucan. Rukan really wants a hug. You gonna cry? Come down, give old Rukan a hug. You will be crushed beneath the end of your Now that be a story worth passing down. Feeble prawns. Feeble prawns. There's your hug. Come now, give old Rukan. Not terribly excited about Druid. I suppose. Job's done. Okay. 
I did not see that coming. But... This is another reason why we're one year running Weapons Project. So it's a uh, Mine Rogue. Need to stack armor into the bulwark. They're really making this difficult for me. Probably a uh, Dirty Tricks, if I had to guess. I will not be denied. I'm gonna hold off on that. It's Evasion? Oh, they just wanted it out of their deck. That makes sense. You can't always trust what you see. All right, I think we punch the Null next turn into the Troublemaker. 28 is the breakpoint I need to be concerned about. Or at least the primary breakpoint that I need to worry about. But that's uh, some, like I need to clear the board before I start thinking about uh, life total. Otherwise they just like farm me with the repetitive damage. Nope. At least at the null, please. <laughs> Okay. Like, having minions on board also makes it impossible to play the bulwark, so. Just need to be patient here, or deal with their threats, and then we can uh, start winning. Alright, uh, gonna mess around here. Wrong card. They do have the weapon, but like four turns is a long time with uh, the threats that I'm starting to accumulate. We also have good damage through Cloak if they run it. But four turns is a lot of turns. We just kind of counter them with uh, stuff we're doing. Oh, you mean from the decks that the game offers? I have no idea what's in those decks. Uh, I don't play standard, so I don't pay too much attention to those. I'm not the person to ask, unfortunately. All right, I think I can only keep one from the depths against Rogue because they're going to start getting after me quickly, and uh, I don't have the time to spend that much mana. Buckler helps. Yikes. I really need to find the shield chatter soon, so I might have to prioritize this. Pirates away! At least they drew patches? want both of these but I think it just has to be the shield shatter I don't necessarily have the weapon yet give me that Not what I want. feed that fish Any shield shatters off the top is uh, guaranteed because of the grudge. You can't say top keck when I put it there.
I don't want them to gather more resources. Okay, secret passage makes sense. I guess they're just not running patches. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Those are their passage hits? Or rather, that's their passage hit? One mana draw one. Feels okay. Job's done. Jigafin's not bad. I'm gonna see if I can get the Colossal Minion out of them before we commit the Jigafin. Blood and plunder. Careful, Still worth waiting here. Um, they break the weapon, but we trade the weapon for two more cards off them. I think that's worth. them have a counter Jigafin here. <laughs> okay. Plug's not bad. Does this attack in first? Nice. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. I mean, I've got Nebulon plus that next turn, so... I'm not going to attack with this because it uh, potentially sets up like a, um, a two-mana shoot guy. And I don't want to give them the Mr. Smite back. Yep, they had it too. Ooh, that would have been a huge punt. Save your friend. Yeah. What's in the box? Oh, hey, more armor. Ah, uh, no, Jigafin deserves this lethal. Okay, things actually turned around a bit uh, towards the end there. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, Osiris, Hyroflow Scarlet, St. Arthur, Shado Yama, Vanfix, and Zach Martin. 